Rain's going to become widespread tonight at 100% heading into the day tomorrow. So yeah, everybody's going to see rain and a lot of folks are going to see too much rain in a short amount of time. That was the view over High Point University today with clouds around for tonight with that rain. It's not terribly heavy, so we're looking at about a half of an inch, maybe an inch of rain tonight. Tomorrow, heavy rain, heavy downpours. Worried about the water on the roads, hydroplaning, that ponding. Just be very careful. One to two inches of rain tomorrow with flash flooding likely going to begin. And then by Thursday afternoon and night, we're going to add another one to two inches of rain on average. And we'll also add to that a threat for severe weather. Our temperatures are nice and mild on this side of the front where we are close to 60 degrees in the triad. We don't have a whole lot of rain on the radar. We have just a little little bit of patchy rain moving out of Alamance County. We have some light rain right now from Eden back toward Madison. We also have some rain from Sparta to Laurel Fork there in Carroll County. That's lifting northeast. It's going to continue to be kind of patchy as we go through the evening. It will likely be after midnight when the real steady rain comes in. The green you're seeing here on this map, those are flood watches that are out. So there is a concern all the way down to Columbia, back out through Tennessee, Kentucky. If you're traveling up and of Virginia that heavy rain is in the forecast during the day and night tomorrow. So with the flash flood watch, we're preparing for periods of heavy rain, some two to four inches on average, localized amounts of five, maybe six inches. Some of our computer models showing those high, high totals. Streams and creeks may rise rapidly, and we're talking about roads that will likely flood could see some washouts too. So this, yes, is a severe weather event in the sense of flooding. Rainfall forecast again, some heavy totals across our area. The heavier downpours begin overnight with temperatures in the mid 50s. The winds pick up at about 10 to 20 miles an hour in the triad. Not as breezy, but still with the south wind in the foothills, some fog around. Heavy rain and that flash flood concern begins in the mountains with temperatures in the low 50s. Not just flooding, but also severe weather. Down here is where you have your tornado watch box area. There have been a couple of warnings already. Most of what we're seeing on our storm reports is in the form of rain, but you notice here a couple of reports of at least tornadoes or funnel clouds in that area shaded in orange in particular. That's where we have that enhanced risk. It slides east tomorrow. Georgia, Central South Carolina also kind of nosing in along I-85 into our southernmost triad communities. So that will be a concern. In that enhanced area, you get numerous severe storms, scattered wind damage reports, and the possibility of isolated tornadoes. Most of the triad in a slight risk, but give or take 25, 50 miles. It just depends on where the storms develop tomorrow, and we're looking for them to develop right through central North Carolina. So if you look at this map here, this is going to show you rain heavy through tomorrow morning. I've stopped it at about 630. Notice it's not heavy everywhere, so it'll be heavy in spots, and then those will move on to be replaced by more heavy downpours. This is about 9 a.m., so the morning commute definitely slow. Into the afternoon, that's when we get this line of storms with some intense storms in that line that are capable of producing damaging winds and perhaps even isolated tornadoes. So after lunchtime into the early evening hours would be that chance, especially for the triad. The rain continues. That's dinner time tomorrow. This is nine o'clock tomorrow. We are still covered up with heavy rain. Finally, the front is starting to push our way by 11 o'clock tomorrow. We still have heavy rain overhead, and then it starts to push out by early Friday. Temperatures will be in the low to mid 60s. Heightened risk for flooding and severe weather by afternoon. Breezy conditions. Remember for the triad, the highest threat is wind damage and flash flooding. For the foothills, temperatures also in the 60s. Heightened threat starts at noon and continues into the afternoon. Biggest threat for the foothills, flash flooding, river flooding, to a lesser extent, maybe some damaging winds. For the mountains, we also have the heightened risk late in the day. The biggest threat for the mountains, heavy rain and flooding. You could have a low chance of seeing some storms and some lightning with the passage of this front. Here's our seven day forecast. Notice the significant drop in temperatures in the 40s by Friday afternoon.